that my tuner is on, you can see that in the bottom left hand corner is the letter C. That stands for chromatic scale. And that is what we always want to make sure our tuner says wherever it shows up on your particular tuner before we start tuning. If it says G, U, V, or any other letter, go ahead and scroll through using whatever buttons your particular tuner uses until it lands on C. Then you may proceed with tuning. Okay, so the first string we're going to tune is the G. So I'm going to pluck the G and see where it lands on my tuner. As you can see, it does not say G. It says F sharp. Now, for those of you that are familiar with piano or orders of pitches in music, an F sharp is one half step lower than the note G, which is what I want this string to be. So for ukulele, that means that this string is too loose. So when that happens, I'm going to turn the peg for G away from me slightly, as you can see. Now, when it's this flat or sharp, you're gonna probably want to give it a little bit more of a turn than normal. Usually I say slow and steady turns while plucking the string, but sometimes when it's that far off tune, you can give it a crank. I'm just gonna keep repeating this process. Now you can see that I'm into the G area, but I need it to be in the center of my tuner and I need it to light up green before I know my string is in tune. There we go. Now it is green, it has landed there, it's settled, we're good. Now we're gonna go on to the C. Now you can see that my C is moving to the right. Now that means that that string is too tight or sharp. So on this side of my instrument, I need to turn this peg down or toward me a little bit until I get into the center of that triangle and it lights up green. Now you can see I'm doing short, small turns while continuously plucking the string so that I don't go too far. As you can see, I did end up even doing it gradually. I went a little too far, so I did have to turn it back toward tightening just a little bit. But now it is green and it's in the center, so we are good to go. So now we're going to move on to our E and A strings, which are on the opposite side of the headstock. So you can see, if you look closely at the headstock of the instrument, that the strings are wound in the opposite direction. So that means that on the E and A side, the direction in which you turn the peg to tighten or loosen the strings is actually the opposite that it is for the G and C strings. So that means that for G and C, in order to tighten the strings, you would turn it away from you. But when you're turning it away on this side, it's actually loosening the string. So let's see where the E is right now. Now my E is very sharp, almost to the point that it's an F, which means that that string is too tight. So I'm going to turn this away from me to loosen it. Because again, on this side, away from you is looser, not tighter like it is for G and C. slightly too far so I'm going to turn it down a smidge to get it a little bit tighter. There, there we go. Now our E is in the center and we're green. All right, let's move on to the last string which is our A string. Now my A string is too loose. It's moving to the left side of the tuner. So I need to tighten that string. So again, on this side, it's toward you to tighten, whereas the opposite side would be to loosen. And now our A is in tune. So now we have all four of our strings in tune. And it sounds very beautiful and it is ready to play.